Hey guys, um, that's my dog by the way. Okay, so today we're doing something a bit different. I was invited to uh, participate as a judge in the great guitar build-off. And if you don't know what that is, it is essentially a guitar competition which exists to help the less fortunate guitar builders or luthiers with free or subsided tools, as well as um, guitar kits or even luthier courses. All of the profits from the great guitar build-off, from the competition and from the donations go towards this goal. And before I start judging these guitars that the people have built, I just want to add that I'm a guitar enthusiast and I'm not a luthier, so I'll be judging these guitars mainly based on the aesthetic of the guitar and whether I like the look of it or not. So yes, I've been sent uh, 10 different guitar, no, well actually 20 guitars, um, and they come in two categories. There's the scratch build, which is people have built guitars from scratch and also the kit build which is a kit that Crimson has provided to these people in order to build their guitars. So um, I say let's start with the scratch build. Now I have my computer and we're gonna start looking at the scratch build guitars that I've been sent. So the first one is by Isaac Morgol. I also, I'm sorry if I mispronounce the names of these luthiers or the, the brands of the guitars. Uh, yeah. Um, so here we have mm, this interesting looking guitar. They, oh, um, all the contestants have sent, um, have also created a YouTube video in which they um, show how they built the guitar and everything. So yeah, this is the first guitar, it's really cool. I like this white pattern that's engraved into the wood, it's really cool. And also the frets are, um, I forgot the name, they're, you know, you get it. Uh, the second contestant is Roberto Gomez, um, I suppose it's pronounced Roberto Gomez. I think he's okay he's from Mexico so here you can see how he was building everything and actually guitar building really really fascinates me because I think that it's you have to have such a certain craftsmanship in order to be able to um, create a guitar which looks good uh, is comfortable to play and is smooth and perfect and yeah I just admire that so much oh wow he actually hand by hand put in the beads into the guitar in order to create the oh wow that's so cool okay yeah that's a that's a very fine looking guitar i must say moving on we have lorenzo dall'armi and i think this is a bass yes yeah, so it's a fretless bass guitar with recycled materials that's cool okay next we have jason makes um, and he has, cre oh that's so cool, it's like a medusa built into the guitar. I like that a lot, that's really cool. Then we have Anthony Platz, who created this, so that's really interesting. So it's an uh, ES335, um, but it looks like really, yeah, <laughs> I like it. Then we have, um, so I don't know whether it's Mat Matej Chorus or Matej Chorus, so I'm not sure, but this guitar is so cool. It's so impressive. First of all, look at the, the, the fretboard. Ugh, that's so cool. Um, so it's a Asian art technique involving cloison art, and I really, really like this one. Um, next we have Michael van den Uden. And he has this like, ge it has like geometrical patterns into, I, I like this one a lot as well. It's like fairly simple, but it, like I would love to have this guitar, you know. Um, then we have Alex Sausset who created this, it's an SG shape. And yeah, quite simple. Then we have Benjamin Swalen and he has been working in his home workshop for around three years. So that's cool. Guitar. Oh, I like the back of it. It looks like like lightning a bit, but it's like gold. Oh, that's cool. 
And last but not least, we have Christian Talbo. And he created this wood guitar, so it doesn't, he didn't paint over it as I imagine it's just oil. But that's a pretty guitar. Very nice, I like it. So my top five for the scratch build of the GGBO is uh, coming up on fifth place is Isaac Morgol. Then um, fourth place is Roberto Gomez. Third place is Jason Makes. Second place is Michael van den Uden. And first place is Matej, or Matej, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, Chorus. So yes, that very, very impressive guitars. I'm, that, that's so cool, honestly. Um, I was really impressed. And now for the kit build section, we have also been sent um, 10 um, contestants, guitars, which we're gonna look through, so. Okay, so the first one we have here is Strut Guitars, and he's only been making guitars for about five years, which is impressive based on this guitar. It looks really cool. I like it. Yeah, it's like a, these scales, it's cool. Then we have Stuart Murray, and now see, this guitar is really, really cool because um, well, I'm obsessed with it. It has this like uh, wire inside of it. Um, yeah, that, that's that's so cool. Like I think this is like one of my favorites for sure. Um, then we have Steven Tucker, who's made this. Mm -mm -mm. Made this cool guitar. I like it. The woodwork is pretty cool. Um, and then there's Terrell Bakes, and he's a. Th th his backstory is really cool because he's a psychologist, and he mainly works with uh, currently or formerly incarcerated men, um, and specifically those that have had uh, murder sentences or sex-related offenses. And um, he does this as a kind of. A, well, he does. Um, he makes guitars as a kind of therapeutic. Uh, distraction or hobby which is really cool um, I love that a lot of these people um, make guitars on the side and have like really cool things that they do as a daytime job and it's really impressive that they find the time to actually go out and do this and I really like this guitar because of the baby Yoda on it and um, I think is this made out of Legos yeah it is so um, that, that's that's really cool. I can barely make Legos out of actual Legos, like, yeah. Um, so now we have Curtis Tupin, or Tupin, yes. Um, and this is a Legoless Paul. <laughs> I've never seen something like that before. I wonder whether it's uncomfortable to play because of uh, like the Legos. Well, you know, same thing with like stepping on Legos. That's not fun. Um, then we have, uh, either George or Georg Phil Huber um, and he's a musician from Vienna and he's made this SG inspired by GTA 5. Uh, it's a cool guitar. Um, next we have Israel Peral Nieto and he's from Sevilla, uh, Seville and, <laughs> and he made this um, really sick guitar. Um, so it has like these kind of mechanism me I don't know it's so cool I like this so much it's very um, like it looks almost in that well it, it looks industrial and that really is unique in a guitar like what I love about um, people that are well what I love about luthiers essentially is that uh, they're very creative and they create well when they make uh, a one-off guitar they always like uh, think of something creative and make it their own guitar and I think that's really really impressive and um, and yeah moving on we have Tyler Peterson and he's made this cool guitar okay so the the fretboard is microtonal and um, and it's uh, an acoustic acoustic sonic guitar and now see I'm mm, 
acoustic tonic or acoustic sonic guitars are a bit, nah, you know, they're quite controversial because um, some people, well, the majority of people say that they would rather have uh, an acoustic and an electric guitar separately, but it um, really depends on a person's preference. Um, next up we have Richard Edwards, who's made this Les Paul. It's very beautiful, I really like the, the finish of it. Mm, and uh, the head of the guitar is cool as well with this uh, uh, sea pony, I think that's what they're called. And last up we have Chris Climo and um, he's made this... Uh, so he started uh, making guitars in the first lockdown, which is like, what, a year ago? And this guitar is so impressive to me, I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, I. I like it. <laughs> um, right, so now that we have looked through all of the contestants, I'm going to tell you my top five once again. Um, so for the top five kit build coming up in fifth place is Strut Guitars, then fourth place is Terrell Bakes, third place is Israel Peral Nieto, second place is Chris Climo. And first place is Stuart Murray. So yeah, that was um, absolutely amazing. I, I want to say thank you to the great guitar build off and to Crimson for uh, inviting me to participate as a judge in this awesome competition. I really stand for what they are trying to do because there are a lot of uh, less fortunate guitar luthiers who deserve the same opportunity to be able to create guitars as as you've seen all of them are very creative have made really cool guitars and i'm i'm really impressed and really proud to be able to um, have a, a vote or a say in this competition i really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you want check out uh, crimson guitars and the great guitar build off if you want to donate or just check it out see who the actual winners will be and and yeah, that that is pretty much it for me. Um, I hope you <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.